Hi boys and girls. Today I'm going to talk about a very very interesting topic called meditation. Why do we have to meditate at our Ajna Chakra or Third Eye Chakra as shown in the picture? Our spiritual journey starts from the sole of our feet and ends at the top of our head. In our body, the soul and the mind are knotted together here at the eye center. So that's very important. And from here our mind spreads into the whole creation through the nine apertures. We have ten apertures in our body. So I'm talking about the nine apertures which opens outside. They are like two eyes, two ears, two holes of the nose, the mouth and the two lower apertures. So these nine apertures are the reason that our whole attention or awareness is spread towards the worldly matters. And how are our thoughts spread? We are always thinking about one thing or another. The mind is never still. No matter how much you close yourself off in the darkest room, you will not be there. Your mind will always be scattered into the whole creation. And whomever are thinking about their former fears are before us. If I start thinking about my child, my child's form will appear before me. If I think about my husband, my husband will appear before me. So I will, I will be visualizing their forms. Automatically we start visualizing the faces of whomever we are thinking about. And slowly and gradually we get attached to them. So much so that we even see them in our dreams. And when we die, it's at the time of our death. All their faces appear before us as if it's a cinema screen happening. We see one after another. Now, as all these nine apertures takes us out, takes our attention out of our body, but there's a tenth aperture which is our eye center that takes our attention inside our body. It opens inside, whereas the other nine apertures, they open outside. This tenth aperture opens inside, not outside. The mind is in the habit of doing Simran. Thinking day and night about what we see is known as Simran. And whatever we try to visualize is known as Dhyana. So the mind is in the habit of doing Simran and Dhyana. But Simran and Dhyana about whom? That is very important. Those faces, those objects, all that we see in this creation are perishable. They will not exist. So our teachers, our mystics, our gurus, they tell us to think about the Lord. Visualize the form of Father. By the same process we use all the time, we have to try and withdraw our attention, our consciousness back to the eye center. We have observed that our mind is fond of lots of pleasures and it has become a slave of senses because it is very much fond of pleasures of the senses. Unless the mind gets a better pleasure than the sensual pleasures, it refuses to leave those pleasures of the senses. Now that better pleasure the Lord has kept within every one of us at the eye center, which is known by different names. The Christ has referred to it as Holy Ghost, Word, Spirit. Indian mystics calls it by the name of Shabd or Naam. Some calls it Akashbani. Some calls it Kalma, Bangais, Asmani. But we are not concerned with the words at all. Now this divine melody is within every one of us here at the eye center. With the help of Simran and Dhyan, if we get a good guru or a guru who is reached to a level and he teaches us how to do that. So with the help of this mystique or saint, we withdraw our consciousness back to the eye center then we are in touch with that divine melody within us, which has its own sound and its own light. When with the help of sound, 
we know the direction of our house within and with the help of light we know the path which we have to travel so slowly and gradually stage by stage we start making progress within ourselves so every soul which has taken birth on this earth has to go and merge with the creator the father and in order to go back to the father we need to withdraw our consciousness back to thy center this is known as meditation where we learn how to withdraw our consciousness from the nine apertures and holding our attention here at the eye center and attaching our attention or our consciousness to that divine melody or divine light within this divine light and this divine sound is always there within us we just need to concentrate the more we concentrate at the eye center the more will we be in touch with that divine melody and divine light within us the more we enjoy the divine light and divine melody within the more we start withdrawing from the attachments of the creation attachment to the divine melody automatically creates the feeling of detachment from the senses detachment from the creation only attachment can create detachment in us and detachment can never create attachment in anyone so we need to attach to that divine melody and the only source is meditation that too when we concentrate on our rajana chakra